Hey guys, Thogden here. Welcome back to a new video. Now today, this is episode 2 of the new Sunday League Football Series. Although it's not Sunday League and it's not even 11 aside, but let's move on. The first two games we lost, we drew in the first episode of the series and now we have another game. We have a new signing called Zach. He's a very good player. Last time when I said I didn't start, I said it really quickly as if I was trying to like not tell you guys. Well, this time, Gem. I didn't start. What annoys me though is every single game we have a new manager and new tactics isn't very good every single game because you know we want one manager with one kind of tactic so we can get used to it but we don't have that. Though. I've got my laptop down here so I'm going to be looking down a lot so I can like look at the clips and tell you guys about it. Anyway enough talking let's get into the video. So here we have their right winger beating Lucas and Lucas takes him down just outside the box and then they get a free kick. So this free kick I'm just going to let you guys watch it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, not great. Who was it? Who scored? It was Joe, Joe Buchanan. Strike Joe, oh yeah, okay. No! Damn it, I missed it. I'm so sorry. This better not be the only goal in the game. Apparently it was a great goal, so I've got to give respect to Jem for the amazing back heel assist. I didn't actually see the goal, but I heard about it, and uh, a good goal by Joe, so well done. I would say more, but I didn't even see it, so uh, yeah. Sorry about that. Let's move on. 1-0 to St. John's Wood. James on the ball. James plays it to Dennis, I think, and then Jem gets the ball. Jem plays it to Karosh. Karosh has some time and plays it to Joe. Joe beats his man and then spends a bit too much time on the ball and gets tackled. The opposition goalkeeper takes the ball up for a goal kick. Devin heads it. Jem tries to take a touch and then ends up heading it. James plays it through. Joe gets on the end of it, plays it to Zach. Zach takes on his man and beats him. He then goes to the shot and it hits the post. So unlucky there. Good, good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. As a team, Jem, go. Going to take on number nine instead, plays it to Jem. Jem then plays a lovely lob through ball to Zach. Zach gets on the end of it, shoots, good save by the keeper, and then there's a bit of mud around, and then they get the ball out. Here we have them on the attack. Then number 27 plays it out to their right winger, their right winger takes a charge, tries to beat our defender and then the ball goes out of play. So at this point, I come onto the pitch. So Devin plays into the middle of the pitch and James doesn't get onto it, so then they attack. I get there before the strike and play it to Tom. Tom then plays it to James. James takes a touch and looks for a pass and then I think he plays it to Zach. Zach beats his man but then can't get on the end of it. So here we have the opposition attacking, 11 on the ball, plays out to their right winger. I get there first and play it to Tom. Tom looks for someone to play it to and then they get thrown. And there we go guys. It's 1-0 at the moment and it's half time. Hopefully if we can keep this up we can get our first win of the season. I'm not going to speak anymore. Let's just run into the next bit of clips. So from kickoff, Zach plays it to James. James then lays it off to me. I wasn't expecting it but I play it back to James. James gets the ball and plays it to Devin. Then Tom takes the ball, runs down the left and then plays it into Zach. Zach does a beautiful turn, beats their number 9 and then look at the power on that shot. 2-0 from the start. Brilliant goal from Zach. It's a good game so far for St. John's Wood. Here we have Patrick on the wing. Goes for a cross and a good save by the keeper. Then the ball's muddling about and it goes back to where I am. It's me versus their striker. I get the tackle in and then James gets the ball, plays it to Tom. Sorry about the cameraman. Um, Tom then plays it to Zach. Zach looks for something to happen and ends up playing it to James. James then tries to, tries to make something out of it. They get it clear and then at this point it looks like I've just done a beautiful dummy to beat their striker but actually the floodlights was in my eyes. I couldn't see the ball because it was white and I missed the ball but on, you know on the video it actually looks like I've done a mad dummy so I'm not gonna take that away from me. The ball played to their number nine. Tell me right now, is that a foul or not? Because I feel like he's completely grabbing uh, Zach, their number nine. But the referee doesn't give it. Point is three versus two. It's quite difficult. So I go into the centre midfielder and then plays it out to their winger where I can't mark two people at once and then they score. Pretty annoying. Two different things in that attack didn't go our way. What can we do about it? It's a disgrace. I know. It's a fucking disgrace. Wait a second. Further trouble. It's a fucking disgrace. Here we have their number 11 attacking. Plays it into their number 32, but he just misses the ball. Joe runs down the wing and then hits it and it hits the crossbar. Oh you can see Patrick on the sideline pretty uh, annoyed that it didn't go in. Jem, I think, plays it to Kurosh on the wing. Uses his pace, plays it to Joe. Joe had a lot of space and time, but he shot first time and it went straight at the keeper. Unlucky Joe. Joe playing it into Zach. Zach gets on the end of it and scores. That yes! makes it 3-1. Great goal and you can see even the substitutes coming onto the pitch to go celebrate. 
3-1 to St. John's Wood. Alright, so in this attack, they have their opposition goalkeeper just hoofing the ball up, and it lands in the worst position. Lucas and Jacob don't communicate, and their striker gets a touch on it, and makes it 3-2. They're back in the game from miscommunication between Jacob and Lucas. Oh, I got yourself, man! Now I got a thumbnail. At this point, a little bit of beef started, but I can't really say anything more because I wasn't on the pitch. James on the ball, plays it out to Patrick. Patrick shoots, and then the keeper. I don't really know what happened there, but the keeper messes up. Yeah, well done to Patrick for scoring. Who can say where the road goes, where the day flows? Where she goes? Go? Where go? she goes? Then number seven shoots, it goes to the number 69. The number 69 takes a touch and then it goes back to the number seven. He plays it to someone else who I can't see and then it's a great save by Jacob, our goalkeeper. You gotta give that to him. But right, at this point it's 4-2, we have a two goal lead, but they get a corner, it comes in and they head it in, which makes it 4-3. They're back in the game again. And here we go, they have a free kick. This is last shot of the game. Do they score it or do we win? Here we go, they take it. And it's just wide. You can see the side netting, and then the referee blows for full time. Full time, 4 3. St. John's Wood, first win in the league. Well done, St. John's Wood. I'd probably say the man of the match was Zach on his debut. He's got two goals for us. Now I'm going to show you guys the table. So at the moment, guys, we are fourth out of ninth. So we're doing all right. So mid table at the moment, I think we need another win, and we probably need Zach to come to the next game to do that. Well done to the whole team for a great performance, and uh, yeah, move on to the next game. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying this new Sunday League football series. If you do, drop a like and subscribe and share the video so we can get more of an audience because there isn't a big one because this is a new thing on my channel and hopefully it's gonna work if it does i'll keep it going anyway thank you guys for watching and i uh, yeah catch you later see you guys